Good afternoon, buenas tardes. Happy feast day. Happy feast day. It's the feast of Saint Bernardine of Siena, the patron of our diocese. This is a very busy uh, season. There's a lot of activities going on as people began to, uh, to close up for the summer and to have a different pace. But right now, especially these last few weeks, our families are busy getting ready for uh, graduations of some of their children, first communions of others, uh, confirmations of others. It's a popular time for some people to wed. And there's just a lot of activity going on in these few weeks. One of them that uh, Bishop Rutilio, Father Partida, Father Romy and I are very involved in are the confirmations, going to the different parishes throughout the diocese, reconnecting with some. In this particular year, I've reconnected with people in Trona, in Anza, and this weekend in Baker. These are areas just really outside of the immediate area. I don't know if some of you even know where they are, but they are where there are parishes that are our diocese. And we confirm, or this year we will be confirming close to 8,000 people in these uh, six weeks plus two of Easter. It's a lot of people that we confirm. Our approaches are different as we address those that we confirm. Um, I generally ask questions. I go around, walk around, and ask questions. And this year, I have different questions for the adults and different questions for the youth. But this year, my question for the youth has focused on the saint that they chose for their confirmation, the name that they chose for their confirmation. It's wanting to know why they would choose that particular saint. Very interesting stories. They speak about the valor, the strength, the fortitude of that particular saint. They speak about the saint's generosity. They speak about how uh, the saint uh, gave everything they had. They give the story of Saint Francis. And I asked them questions. I said, are you willing to give everything you have away? Uh, uh. Uh, they'll talk about a particular saint that has become a priest or a nun. And I said, you admire that person? Yes. And so you're willing to be a priest? Uh, uh. You're willing to be a nun? What it comes across, though, as these are ordinary people that I'm talking to. And they're talking about ordinary men and women who today we name as saints of our church. Ordinary men and women that heard God's call to holiness and followed that call. Some of them, because of stories and legends and myths, have become bigger than life figures. Basically, they were ordinary people, just like the people that we honor today. We are honoring ordinary people that hear God's call and respond to that call of holiness. And the gospel makes it very clear that it's through the ordinary events, experiences of life, that we hear God's call and responds to it. The planting, seeding, throwing of seeds is not a spectacular and not a very complicated work. It's done all the time. Farmers do it every year, two or three times a year. They plant the seeds. And those seeds, some, take good root. They take good root. And because of that, we're able to enjoy the fruit of those seeds. And it's just like names that um, these uh, young people choose, like Isidore, or John Bosco, or Angela Marici, 
or Anne, just ordinary people that heard God's planting of the seed in them and responded. What is essential is the response and that it's focused. What's essential for us as the soil is the interior life. What is going on inside of us? What connections are we making with the one who is planting the seed? How are we staying focused? Because there's many things that could pull us away as the birds and the weeds and the events that happen in your life and in my life. We're not in it for titles. There are some people that are in it for the title. We're not in it for money. There are some people that look for the money. So it's not fame, it's not money, it's not power. When we stay focused, it's all about the Lord Jesus. And we accept that call and the mission that we are given. And the mission is to bear fruit. The mission is to live what that seed is intended to be and to let it be shared by other people. Today we honor people from your families, from your parishes, from our diocese who have stayed on the mission. They've stayed focused. They've stayed with Christ. Ordinary people, not in it for power, not in it for titles or glory, but in it because of their love for the Lord. And to them, we say thank you. To them, we ask God's blessing on you. And to them, we honor today. And we thank them in a special way for their exemplary life. Stories were shared about some of the work that they do earlier this afternoon. Stories were shared about some of the fruit that has come from their work and dedication. Stories were shared about their fidelity, the fidelity to the church, to their community, to their parish. Stories were shared about their compassion and their care for others. Stories were shared about their faith in the risen Lord. All these stories that were shared are part of their call to holiness. And so we tell them, our sisters and brothers, well done, good and faithful servants. We know that our God is grateful to you. We know that your families are proud of you. And we want you to know that your church has been blessed by you and your response to God's call to holiness.